Hi there, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. My name is Andre Kröker from Dagubi. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create this corner elements. For this element you have to create only this element and with the transform effect apply Illustrator automatically all the other corners. In the next few minutes I'm going to show you how to prepare your layers and how to work with the transform effect. So the first thing what we need to do is create a basic shape and create some layer groups and apply the transform effect. I start with the rectangle tool and change the fill color to none and black stroke. Now create a simple box like this. Now choose the paintbrush tool and draw a simple line. So next select these two objects, but it's very important to click on this little icon to select this and now go to effect distort and transform and click on transform so change this to minus 90 degree we need one copy enable the preview and now click on this little icon and now last click on reflect Y and click OK. So the next thing what we need to do is collect this in new layer. Go to the layers panel options and click on collect a new layer. Now you can see these two layer groups. Now we need to reflect this. Click on this little icon to select all these objects and now go again to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Enable the preview. So we need one copy and click on Reflect Y. And now click on this icon and you can see this uh, effect and move this a little bit vertical so you s can see this gap now click OK so to you can see this um, objects are outside the artboard choose a transform tool and now scale it a little bit Move it up. Okay. So go again to the layers and click on the layers panel options again on collect a new layer. And now choose this layer, click on this icon again, and now go to effects, distort and transform and transform. Now we have to reflect this uh, X. Need one copy, enable the preview and now click here on this right icon and move this horizontal for example 124 click OK These are my basic layers for the corners. So now delete this line and change the color of this box, the stroke color to gray. Okay, this layer group are only for the orientation. Now duplicate this group drag it down to this new layers button and lock 
this layer group. The next thing what we need to do is delete this object, but watch out, don't delete the layers, delete only this object. Select this and press delete. Okay, now I'm finished with my basic layers and I can start with my drawing. Enable the orientation layer and now you can start with the paintbrush tool, black stroke color and now this is very important. Select this layer and now you can draw and you can see Illustrator apply automatically all these corners. Before I start with my drawing, I would like to create three brushes. Create a new layer, choose the first layer and click on the Create New Layer button. So now choose the Ellipse tool and create an ellipse. So I would like to change this yellow lines to a dark color. You see this layer is um, a yellow. Make a double click on this layer and change the color to a dark color, for example dark green. Click OK. So now with the direct selection tool select this left and hold the shift key and select the right point and now convert this to corners. So now I have to scale this a little bit and now change the color. For the fill choose black and none stroke. So the next thing what we need to do is create two copies. Please hold the Alt key and one copy and second copy. So now choose the direct selection tool and select these two points and move it to the left. Select the other object and select again this center points and move it to the right. Okay, these are my three brushes. Now Select all these brushes and scale it a little bit smaller. Now select first this brush, drag it in the brushes panel and create an art brush. Click OK. Change only the colorization method to tints. Make the same with the other brushes. Select it, you can click on this uh, button and click on New Brush, Art Brush, OK, Tints, and last, OK. So you can delete this object and now we can start with the drawing. OK, delete this line. Now choose the paintbrush tool. First choose this brush. And now, very important, choose this layer. And now start with a simple line. Hold the Shift key and now click and drag. OK. So, create an arc, for example, so. Now, create a second arc. Now, choose this brush and create a new line. So now select this line and move it up. Now create a new line. 
Oops, sorry. Change the white. Now move this down. Create a new line with this brush. Uh, sorry, this. Okay, select all these objects and apply this black. Okay. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is select some of these objects. For example, this, this, this holds the shift key and select these objects. Okay. And now go to objects and click on expand appearance. Oh, sorry. Undo, Objects, Path, and click on Outline Stroke. So now change the stroke color to white. And go to the Stroke Options, find this on Windows and Stroke. And change the Align Stroke to Outside. And make the same with this object. Drag it a little bit down. So now uh, make a right click and go to arrange and click on bring to front. So now objects, pass, outline stroke and Change the stroke color to white. Make it outside. So, if you like, you can move some of these objects. That's it, I'm finished. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.